Gentlemen, there comes a point in every man's life where you are required to wear a suit. So that raises the ever-present question of what kind of suit should you get? Should you rent? Because if you rent, it might not be the best fit, might not be the best quality, might not look that great. Or should you buy? And that leads us to today's discussion. We are gonna be talking about which suit is best, price versus quality. Let's get started. back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. I have an awesome video in store for you. Like I said, today we are going to be discussing suits. Which one should you buy? We're going to be going over two suits specifically. One from Express and one from Hugo Boss. So one on the cheaper end of the spectrum, one on the more expensive end of the spectrum. We're going to compare the differences. We're going to compare the fit off the rack. We are also going to determine which suit you should buy. Now, before we get started, I want to drop a quick disclaimer. I have worked with Express in the past. They've sent me clothing to post pictures on Instagram and post stuff on YouTube. I have a discount code with them. However, I purchased this suit on my own. This was no affiliation with Express whatsoever. I went out and I bought this suit with my own money. So you are getting my hard, honest opinion just as you always do with any of these videos. So let's jump into it. First, I got to get changed. All right. And this is the first suit. Now this is Express's performance suit. So what that means is it has a lot of stretch to it. It feels very comfortable and it is an extra slim fit. So it's very tailored. It's perfectly fit through the legs, through the jacket, all around. This is a perfect fitting suit for me, at least off the rack, which is incredibly hard to find. I am such a weird size. I have long freaking arms and broad shoulders and I'm pretty thin. So for me to find a suit that fits me this well off of the rack is almost impossible. So when I tried this on in the store, I literally had to buy it because this has never happened to me before. So I am a very, very big fan of this suit, not only because of the fit, but also because of the comfort. Like, because it has that performance nature, it's stretchy, it's flowy, it feels like it has some give to it when I move around. And that is absolutely essential for a suit. You don't want to feel like you're all clustered up in it, you don't want to feel all tight, like you can't move, you don't want to feel locked into something. And that's where this suit really, really shines, is because I feel good in it, I feel strong, and I also feel very, very comfortable. Let's start at the top of the suit and work our way down. Now I am wearing an Express Performance dress shirt. I really love these. Again, they're comfortable, they're stretchy, and they're very well fitted also. So big fan of these shirts. They're perfect for the summertime too because they're lightweight, so they'll keep you cool. But that's beside the point. Let's talk about the jacket. Now this entire suit is an extra slim fit. So when you go into Express, you can choose kind of what style of suit that you want. You can get classic, you can get slim fit, or you can get extra slim fit. Now typically when I purchased extra slim fit jackets from Express before, like their sports coats or their blazers, those are usually a little tight, especially around the arms. Like if I tried to do like this, it would feel like it's going to rip on the back seam. But since this has that stretchy nature to it, it doesn't feel that way at all. I feel like I could do jump shots in these and literally it wouldn't mess it up. And that's kind of how they advertise it as well. They advertise this for athletes and sports players literally playing basketball or football in these suits because they want to show you how movable and how flexible you can be in one of these suits. And that stays absolutely true coming straight off the rack. The jacket being an extra slim fit, 42 regular is my normal size, but sometimes I can go down to a 41 depending on the brand. But since it was extra slim, I opted for the 42 regular. So the sleeves fit absolutely perfectly. They come down just below where my wrist line is, exposing just enough of that sleeve down there, which is what you want. 
It's nice and fitted through the middle here. It's nice and pulled in so it looks tailored and taut and clean. And my lapels, if I get this situated right, my lapels aren't peaking here at the top, which says that this jacket is not too small for me. It's fitted, but it's not too small. And again, I think that also comes back to since this is an extra slim fit and since it's stretchy, there's a lot of give in the shoulders, which is normally what causes my lapels to peak like this because there's no give. But since this is extra slim fit and it is stretchy, it's causing my lapels to lay exactly like they should, which is incredible. Great job on that express. I have to congratulate you because this, this jacket is absolutely pristine. Pockets are super clean. I love this light blue, kind of washed out blue color. It looks so, so good. It's a perfect summertime suit, a daytime suit. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to a wedding, you can wear it out to a dinner. This is a great color. All right, enough about that. Now let's move down to the pants region. Now, one thing that concerned me mainly when I was purchasing this suit was that the pants were gonna to be too small. They're gonna be way too tight because I know how extra slim can be. Sometimes it's okay, but sometimes it is way, way too extra slim, if you know what I mean. It's hugging in the wrong areas down there, and that is not what you want, especially not with a suit. So let me take off the jacket so I can demonstrate what this suit should look like from the pants. Now the main thing I want you to notice about the pants is not only how great it looks my booty look, Yes, I said it, but also the pockets. Normally another issue that I have when buying suits off the rack, especially if they're a slim fit cut, is that in order to make the suit to where the pockets aren't peeking out like this, I have to go a higher waist size and get it tailored at the waist in order to make it fit in the legs because I have big quads. But again, since this is a stretchy suit, it is not doing that, and it is such a freaking miracle. Oh my God, I can't even believe it. And not only that, since these are extra slim fit, they're tailored through the legs, the waist, the booty, and all the way down, even past the knee. These have that very modern slim fit tailored cut because they're tailored beyond the knee, which is so great. Absolutely love these. Again, they're stretchy, so I could do freaking jumping jacks in these, and literally it would be fine because they're not a tight, uncomfortable fabric. All right, and now it is time to answer that ever-present question, how much did this suit cost? Totaling, plus the shirt, plus the pants, and the jacket, all together, all three pieces, totaled $333.19. I did get the whole thing on 30% off sale, which Express does stuff like that all the time. So just keep your eye on it and you can find one for the exact same price if you really wanted to. Um, but regardless, 333 bucks, not bad at all. Absolutely not bad at all. Especially for a suit that fits this good off the rack. I don't have to take this to a tailor. I don't have to get any alterations done. I can wear this straight off the rack, clip the tags off, and go straight to whatever I need to do and look absolutely killer. So overall, this was an incredible buy. I highly suggest that you go check out Express's performance suits. They are mad comfortable, they fit great, the price is awesome, and they are totally worth it. Now let's go on to suit number two. All right, and this is suit number two, again by Hugo Boss. This suit I actually did not purchase, so I'm gonna guesstimate the price on this when we get to that point. It was given to me by my uncle. Now, going into the suit, this is a much more classic fitting suit. The jacket is longer as it normally is traditionally supposed to be, where it kinda touches the bottom of my palm here when I reach down flat, and it also has a straight cut on the pants. So this is a much more traditional suit as compared to the Express one, which is more trendy, more today's modern age suit stuff. But regardless, this is a classic look, it's a classic color, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now we'll start at the top and go down just like we did before. I'm wearing the same Express performance dress shirt as I did before to kind of keep that the same. I didn't want to switch anything up there. I just wanted the top and the bottom to be the main focus here. But the jacket on this and the pants as well are a very high quality wool product. It's thin, it's lightweight, and the suit jacket has been fitted. 
as well as the pants. So this is a tailored suit. Even though it's a classic cut, the pants are a little bit baggy, this is a tailored suit, so that kind of gives you that look right there. But nonetheless, the jacket is very, very high quality. Even though it's not stretchy like the other one was before, it still feels very comfortable because it's fitted through the shoulders, it's fitted down the sides, and it's perfectly tailored to my fittings. So in that regard, I think this is just as comfortable as the Express jacket was before. However, it's comfortable in a different way in the sense where this feels comfortable because it's fitted, whereas that felt comfortable because it was stretchy. Now, one thing that I'm not too particularly crazy about is the length of this jacket. It literally feels like it is so long and it's just a 42 regular that has been tailored at the size. So I don't love how long this jacket is at all. I think it's kind of an older look, which is fine if you go for that, but it's just not my cup of tea personally. Otherwise, the jacket fits really, really well. Again, the sleeve length is perfect. It shows just enough of the cuff, although I do believe that it could be brought up just a hair more. Again, just personal preface, that's all kind of based on what you like. Otherwise, there's no peaking going on the, on the lapels right here. Maybe ever so slightly, like right there, you can kind of see that. But regardless, that's because I put on size in muscle since I got this suit tailored originally. But regardless, this is Hugo Boss. This is high quality. That's kind of what you're going for when you go for a name brand like this. Now let's move on to the pants. Again, I'm gonna do just like I did before. Take off the jacket so you can see what I'm talking about here with the waistline and everything. Moving down into the pants, like I said, I did have the waist taken in, so it's slightly tighter here than the Express ones were before. Because again, these have been fitted and these aren't stretchy. So again, this is that nice wool material, very lightweight, very, very breathable, very flowy, which is actually really, really nice for a suit to have. Even though the other one's stretchy, these feel very similar in comfort simply because, again, they have been tailored. As I had the waist taken in here, it makes so that the pockets aren't peaking, just like I mentioned before, how I don't like that. I have a problem with that with suits off of the rack. I have to get it altered because otherwise, the pockets literally stand up just like this. It looks ridiculous. So, I had them altered. The pockets are not peaking, and it fits me nicely with the booty as well, even though it is a straight fit cut. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I did not purchase this suit. It was gifted to me from my uncle, so I'm not sure on the cost. Based on what I've seen on like Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, stuff like that, I'm gonna guesstimate this suit to be anywhere from $800 to $1,000 in value. Hugo Boss is a nice brand. They make a nice quality product, but it's a name brand, so you're gonna pay for that brand a little bit when it comes to the cost. And it is a pretty high quality wool from what I can feel and what I can tell. It feels like a nice high quality product, but it's gonna be more expensive again because you're paying for that brand. But overall, Hugo Boss as a brand, really, really good stuff. Love this suit. Even though I think the Express suit's a little bit better, I still like the fit on this. I still like the quality on it. And it has a little bit of a classic feel too because again, it's got that classic cut, that classic shape. So overall, this is still not a bad suit at all. So to wrap everything up, I think if you're looking for a really high quality suit that is not that expensive and fits really, really well off the rack, it's comfortable, it's stylish, and it's modern, definitely go with the Express suit. 100% go with the Express suit if all of those things fit your criteria of the perfect suit for you. I think Express is definitely a place that you should look and consider buying a suit from. Now on the other end of the spectrum, if you're looking for a name brand, looking for a suit that's gonna last a really, really long time, and looking for a very high quality product and a classic fit, Hugo Boss is gonna be for you. It's classic, it's stylish, it's never going away, and it's a brand that puts a lot of effort and thought into each of their products. So, with that being said, I think that both of these suits are absolutely worth your consideration. So before we close out today's video, guys, I wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to today's video sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. As you guys know, they're my favorite jewelry company and they sponsor me on a weekly basis to make content for you guys. So it would be absolutely awesome if you click on the link in the description of this video, head over to rosegoldandblack.com where you can look at some of my hand-selected favorite pieces on their website. They've got jewelry, watches, necklaces, bracelets, literally everything you could ever want and they will take your style game up to the next level. 
click on that link, head over to rosegoldandblack.com, take advantage of a discount on your boy, and don't forget to let him know who sent you. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today's video. If you liked the video, drop a big fat thumbs up down below. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what videos you want to see next, and I'll do my best to make those for you. And also, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications on so you can see when I post a video next, and I will see you guys next week. I'm out.